going on guys? So what a day so far. This morning I drove up to Vero Beach. Uh, I fished a couple spots that there should have been green swordtails in. Did not find any green swordtails, but I did catch my first ever Jack Dempsey cichlid. So I'll probably show you a picture of that right now. Um, but there was just not enough content there to make a full video. So there's nothing from there. Uh, so on my way back down to South Florida, I decided to stop here in Port St. Lucie. I fished this spot back in September, so right around six months ago. We'll fish it again. Uh, just some really small hooks. I got a size 26 uh, Gamagatsu hook. A little split shot above it. We'll drop it down. The water level here is a lot lower than it was when I was here in the fall, but we'll see what kind of micros we can get. We got a good variety last time in this spot, and uh, there are still a lot of different species here that I have not caught before. Obviously, those are going to be a little bit rarer, but hopefully we can find them. And it is really windy here. It's not this windy uh, up north a couple hours ago, and I, I didn't drive that far south. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it, and let's see what happens. All right, so there is the little size 26 hook with a little bit of worm. It is really, really windy out here. But yeah, we got, I don't know what that is, 18 inches of water, maybe a little bit more. I don't really see any fish. There's a lot of some sort of in aquatic insects up on the water surface. But I'm just going to drop this down. And let's hope there is some fish on the bottom that I'm not seeing. I just want to go after a little bit of worm. Oh, got picked up. Got him. First fish of the day. Let's see what this is. Looks like it's a little dollar. Let's get this guy in the photo tank. All right, so it took a long time to finally hook one of these. There's not a lot of big fish down there, at least big enough to get the uh, even the size 26 hook in their mouth. I saw a couple sunfish about this guy's size uh, go after the worm, but this is the first guy to get hooked. So first fish out of this spot is a tiny, tiny little dollar sunfish. So okay start, let's get this guy back and we'll keep fishing. Got him. Ooh, dropped him. I think that was another dollar sunfish, slightly bigger. I see a couple fish down there. I think there's one more sunfish, and then a bunch of what look like mosquito fish. But the sunfish does not seem interested. Might have got spooked when the other guy got hooked. Got him. Let's see what this little guy is. Second little sunfish of the day. Looks like it's another dollar, but let's get this guy in the photo tank as well. All right, so I'm getting a good amount of bites from small fish, mosquito fish, and some small sunfish like this, but very, very tough to actually hook them, even with the size 26 hook. So we got two so far, which is not a lot, but it's a nice little fish. So we'll get this guy back, we'll keep fishing, Maybe we can get like a blue spotted sunfish or something a little bit cooler than these dollars. Got one. Is this another dollar though? Let's take a look. 
Yes, another dollar sunfish. So no photo tank for this guy. We'll just take a quick picture of him and let him go. Got him. Let's see what this is. Is it another dollar? Yes, it is. So we'll get this guy in the photo tank. And we'll take a look at him. All right, there is our latest dollar sunfish. So these guys are hard to hook, and these guys are the only things that I've been able to find so far. There's some eastern mosquito fish on the surface, but these are the only real fish that I would even remotely want to catch. But there are so many other fish that should be here. And last time I was here, I caught some golden top minnows, golden silver sides, blue spotted sunfish. But today, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a very, very beautiful fish, but not the fish that I am really wanting to catch over and over again. You know, when you look down, you really don't see any fish, but it's a pretty dark background. The worm is very light, so uh, it's windy, so it's a little tougher, but you drop it on down there, it sinks to the bottom, and then your worm disappears, and you've got a fish. So you don't see the, oh, he just kind of flew to the other side. So you don't necessarily see the fish bite, you just kind of see your worm disappear, and you know you've got a fish on. Let's try that again. Oh, disappeared. Oh. Disappeared but all we got that time was just some grasses. Let's try this one more time here. Down at the bottom, I could see it, I could see it. Oh, it's moving around. Is it gone? That one just kind of played with it. But yeah, sight fishing is probably the best way to micro fish unless you're using like a really, really soft little bobber. But let's see if we can get a couple more, maybe hopefully some other species. got a fish on this one's bigger and he swam me under the dock and around these lily pads I put my rod down for a second to change my batteries in the GoPro oh there we go not as big as I thought but definitely the biggest fish of the day by far looks like a bluegill yeah so second fish species of the day another sunfish I saw these guys swimming around and we finally got to hook one. So quick pick, we'll get it back, and we'll keep fishing for a few more minutes. Oh, that's a bigger fish. Didn't This guy came out of nowhere and he's off. That looked to be another bluegill. Did he take the hook with him? Yeah, he took the hook with him. All right. So I don't know if I want to retie or if we're going to call it a day on that. So I, um, we'll see. sampled this entire area and there are so many fish that were found in this body of water that I have not caught yet. 
it. So it's a little bit of a drive, but I don't mind coming up here every once in a while to try and target those fish because I did catch a couple lifers here. Uh, actually, the Dali Sunfish. I, I, this is the first spot that I've caught a Dali Sunfish in, but there's some other fish that are a little bit rarer, especially where I am. So up here, they should be more plentiful. Uh, I've just not been able to find them. So hopefully at some point in the future, maybe when the water levels are a little higher at different time of year, uh, I'll have some more luck and maybe I could add a new species to the life list. So a little bit of a disappointing trip here, unless you like dollar sunfish. But yeah, so hope you guys still liked it. And I will